Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the Spark inbuilt function that is Spark Partition ID. This function is used to identify the partition ID for each record in the data frame. But what is the use of knowing partition ID for each record? There are actually many use cases, but I can explain one of the use cases you know, which I used in my uh, recent project. A Spark partition ID function is used to identify the data skewness in the data frame. Data skewness is one of the important concepts in Spark development. Data skewness will hit the performance in Spark programming. So it's very important to identify the data skewness and also putting proper mechanism to handle the data skewness. So this function Spark partition ID helps to identify the data skewness. Apart from this function, generally in order to identify the data skewness, normally we used to go with Spark UI. Within Spark UI, we can check number of uh, tasks and how much time each task has taken to complete the execution. Based on that, if any particular uh, task takes more time compared to other tasks, then we can conclude there is a data skewness for that particular task or partition. The other method is we can look at 25th percentile, 50th percentile, or 75th percentile for the metrics, say the execution time. So we can uh, check the execution time at these uh, different intervals to identify the data skewness. So once we have identified the data skewness, we can go with uh, mechanisms such as uh, um, uh, salting or uh, repartition, bucket by, you know, there are many methods to handle the data skewness. We can go with one of the method. So in this method, I'm going to tell you how to identify data skewness in Spark uh, uh, program using Spark partition ID function. So this can be done within a coding uh, environment. No need to go to Spark UI. Let's get started with the demo. This is the uh, notebook I have created. Uh, my cluster is up and running. So uh, to start with this demo, first I'm going to create one of the base data frame. So in this data frame, I'm going to read one of the CSV file. So let me execute this one and display the data. The execution is completed and we can see the data for this data frame. Normally, the default uh, uh, parallelism for Spark is 8, which means when it uh, reads the data from external CSV file, it would create 8 uh, partitions by default. So I want to make sure, I want to get the number of partitions for my data frame. For that, we can go with uh, rdd.getNumberOfPartitions function. So I am using this one. Let me execute this and we can get the number of partitions created for this particular data frame. So you can see here, 8 partitions are created. So partition ID normally starts with 0. So for this particular data frame, there would be 8 partitions and partition ID would range 0 to 7. Now. I want to see the partition ID for each record in this data frame. For example, you know, for this particular record is part of which partition I want to know. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Spark partition ID function. So here using with column, I'm creating a new column partition ID based on inbuilt function Spark partition ID and I'm displaying the result. Let me execute this one. Here you can see the data frame is containing partition ID column, which is having partition ID. So basically there are eight partition in this uh, data frame. So the partition ID would range zero to seven. So here you can see that. Now here we can see seven. So for example, if I want to know the partition of this particular record, then now easily I can identify this is part of the eighth partition and uh, that is partition ID seven. So here, you know, by default, it has created eight partitions. Now, programmatically, I want to change uh, the number of partitions to 20 using repartition programming. Let's uh, see this one. Let me execute. See here, now uh, we have created 20 partitions, which mean it would be 0 to 19. Here you can see, you know, now we have 19 is the maximum partition ID starting from 0. So this is how you know, we can identify the partition ID for each record within data frame. So for that, we have to use inbuilt function Spark partition ID. Now let me get the number of partitions for this second data frame. Here you can see 
here you can see it's 20 why because if we have used repartition function and we are creating 20 partitions okay now i want to identify the data skewness for this data frame so for that what should i do i have to group by i have to perform aggregation based on the partition id i have to count the number of rows per partition id so that i can get some idea you know how my data is distributed across the partition so for that the next step i have created simple program so in my uh, second data frame i am doing group by partition id and i am getting count so and i am doing order by so basically i want to get the partition uh, where we have data skew that's the reason i am giving descending order which means the partition which is having more number of records will come at the top so let me execute this one here you can see the partition id 9 that is having 10 records same for 10 12 and similarly you know, it is ranging uh, 10 records per partition to 8 records per partition so it is uniformly distributed so we don't need to worry about data skewness in this particular data frame in this particular programming because it is evenly distributed uh, and also in this example i have used a very simple data set but in your real time uh, project you know you might be using very complex data set there you might see data skewness so this is a simple method to check data skewness in your programming hope you understood uh, what um, uh, what this function does and uh, what is the use case uh, for this function i hope you understood the concept uh, hope you like this video if you like please uh, like and comment this uh, video also don't forget to subscribe this channel and also click on the bell button to get more update from this channel thank you